Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Mysteries and Oddities video. Alright, one last video here for this go around and I'll give this series just a brief rest and start working on some other new videos based on some of the other subjects. This one is a new suggestion, never heard of this occurrence before. To this day, there's still a lot of controversy associated with this occurrence because on the one hand, there's the people that state that absolutely this was indeed a 100% miracle and have accepted it as fact and then on the other hand are the actual skeptics those that state that there's a lot of reasons why this is instead something else completely different not necessarily the miracle that people were stating and then they present their facts too but what's fascinating is that there's an official organization in this case the Catholic Church that has officially accepted it as a miracle so just go by that regards and what I'm talking about is the incident known as the miracle of the Sun which was something that occurred way back when on October 13th 1917 very fascinating to read this information never heard of this before by the way before I begin just wanted to mention that I always take just a neutral stance when it comes to anything involving religion uh, from my end is okay if some people believe uh, very religious items so be it if others don't so be it it's more along the lines of if you're content with something by all means so that's how I'm going to try to present these facts here and then leave this up to yourselves to decide thereafter. So what was this miracle of the sun? Well again it was an incident that occurred back on October 13th 1917 specifically at a place called Fatima Portugal. In essence, it was a supposed miracle witnessed by 30,000 up to 100,000 people all gathered there, including reporters and including others from other organizations to try to witness a predisposed miracle brought on by three children. These three children, they go by the name of Lucia dos Santos and then her cousins, Jacinta and Francisco Mardo, who you're looking at pictures of here, purportedly they over several previous months had come in contact with the Virgin Mary herself except uh, they called her there Our Lady of Fatima and this was all during previous months leading up to this date uh, it's a lot more of a story but in essence uh, the children were the only ones that saw this lady of Fatima, this Virgin Mary. They saw her first at one instance, all by themselves. In fact, it was primarily a, a Lucia, apparently, that just saw uh, the Virgin Mary. And the Virgin Mary kept telling her to please come back over several months, several specific dates over several months, because that way she can then tell them more information. And then finally, there was the idea that on the very final date, in this case, October 13th, to please bring as many people as she could or as they could because she was going to promise them a miracle right there right then well word grew between the very first date up until all those other dates in fact they were about I think it was uh, a couple of months somewhere around um, the summertime up to the October period ever since that time period then it was growing and growing and growing in terms of crowds because all of them eventually started telling others and then those people would come the new ones and then they will tell others as well and it just grew from there and of course word came about about that very final date that that was going to be the big one the one involving the miracle one thing though to mention is every single time that this situation was happening on at these specific dates the only people that would see the Virgin Mary remain these children and even then the only person that was speaking to the Virgin Mary was still Lucia. No one else had seen uh, the this lady of the Fatima uh, themselves there at that location. Well, cut to about the final date, in that case October 13, 
and that's when this miracle of the sun purportedly happens so all these gathered people are there you're seeing them through these pictures and they were told that uh, this was during a period too where it was raining there was dark clouds around they were told that something would happen suddenly the main girl Lucia in her later language she exclaimed the sun the sun and then everybody supposedly looked up and right there as they gazed upward that's when some clouds I guess parted aside and with it came this miracle now there are variations of this miracle itself so, um, they either complement each other or they're completely different from one another and even then some witnesses did not see anything at all so I'm gonna mention as much as I can as much as different I guess variations of it so the main one was that the Sun itself started to do weird things uh, for starters it first appeared opaque and then it seemed like it started spinning and then others was that it turned more duller in color like and instead of its bright usual self it was more duller and then others yet reported that there was more multicultural lights coming across it and then yet even others were stating that there was like these weird flares coming across the Sun kind of like reaching outward the most frightening one though was the notion that to yet even others it was as if the Sun was actually careening straight towards the earth like it was growing bigger and bigger all uh, with with the notion that yes it was moving straight towards the earth and then even others stated that the Sun was zigzagging throughout the clouds like throughout the sky and it looked like it was just moving of course something that's supposed to be a hundred percent stationary something that you and I see every day just in the same spot if but for the fact with the turning of the earth making it quote unquote move but in this case it was actually the sun was truly moving like it was zigzagging left to right up to down no doubt completely frightening all those people in fact here's some of the accounts directly from some of the witnesses these were taken by one of the people that was there a guy by the name of John DeMarchi who was an Italian Catholic priest but also a researcher so he was there taking into account everything uh, with regards to them he first noted that everyone that was there was a mixture of many different things like in other words they were true believers those that were absolutely on 100% on their religious side and then non-believers there were young men up to old ladies all from different jobs all from different categories so that he tried to get as much exposure as he could to all of the details based on these demographics one of them stated the, this is their direct quote the sun at one moment surrounded with scarlet flame at another aerial the yellow and deep purple seemed to be in an exceedingly swift and whirling movement at times appearing to be loosened from the sky and to be approaching the earth strongly radiating heat another one stated the sun's disk did not remain immobile this was not the sparkling of a heavenly body for it spun round on itself in a mad world when suddenly a clamor was heard from all the people and the sun seemed to loosen itself from the firmament and advanced straightly upon the earth as if to crush us with a huge fiery weight and then another person stated it was as if like a bolt from blue the clouds were wrenched apart these are their words you know that this is what they're stating clouds were wrenched apart and the sun at its zenith appeared in all of its splendor began to revolve vertiginously on its axis like a fire wheel that could only be imagined taking on all the colors of the rainbow and sending forth multicultured or multicolored flashes of light producing the most astounding effect that's just a wide gamut essentially of everyone describing what they quote unquote saw there with regards to this miracle and that's essentially it even so much so that if you take into this account even the uh, Pope uh, Pope Pius the 12th I believe was reported to have witnessed this miracle 
also and then throughout various other dates as well so all of those take into a fact that this is the actual miracle of the sun the one that purportedly happened again on October 13th 1917 right there in Fatima Portugal now with regards to what truly happened like what are the, the analysis of this from the skeptic side so everyone there I just mentioned with regards to the religious side like they take this as a uh, 100% true like they saw this they saw the son do all these things right on cue essentially from the little girl um, uh, Lucia mentioning of course with her communications from the Virgin Mary again they take this all at face value like this is absolutely the truth so much so that as I mentioned earlier even the Catholic Church officially designates this as a miracle so they in turn cite this as a great example within their religion now the skeptics of course state that there's lots of things that can explain what had happened that day the most obvious one from their side is the notion that everyone that was there saw things but it wasn't any miracle per se rather it was something that culminated from them staring at the sun uh, because whenever you have that happen uh, you even as children you're stated not to stare at the sun because it can create uh, some bad things associated with your eyes well that's what happened what people report was uh, was happening here anyone that was staring at the sun would have something happen within forgot what that liquid is called but the stuff within your eyes um, it messes that up and so for brief time periods there's either after images or sun glazing of some sort or some kind of optical effect all of this stuff creates these quote unquote dancing effects within your eyes uh, because with the with with the prolonged staring at the sun it seems to create something with regards to this uh, the retina so whatever that liquid is that's within your retina and when that happens then you are essentially seeing things that aren't supposedly there and then another theory is that there's more something along the lines of groupthink the idea that if you tell people that you're gonna see something and you essentially feed that for a long time then you're gonna be having more results tied to that effect than if you didn't tell them at all it's kinda like the same test where if you put up anything like a, a Rorschach or a blot of, of I don't know dust or whatever anything that you put something up and then you tell them do you see the dog in there and of course someone might not but if you continuously see that then others will that seems to be that effect too there's also a term uh, I think is called Peridolia, I believe that's and looking at one of the articles and that's the idea that very religious people are more prone to seeing very religious images or these miracle items occur than others who are not religious because they are more in, in their mind thinking that they are more interested in seeing these miracles and seeing these religious figures in all manners and shapes like in common day items you read these stories every now and then how the Virgin Mary like can appear on a tortilla or in some cases I was reading can appear on a cinnamon bun can appear on a wooden post as it was painted all those things that's the official term pareidolia and whenever you had a mass group of people here again thousands of people up to a hundred thousand all being told all very religious for the most part that they should expect a miracle and then they see this within the sky itself after again staring at the sky for so long especially the sun then yes uh, that's what that's where they're more likely to see these religious things also it was interesting that others didn't see anything because everyone that was there some of them saw it most uh, I guess experienced something but others didn't like they, there was a large group of people that didn't see anything even though they were they were basically standing right next to their neighbors who were seeing these things too and then of course there's the idea that if this was truly happening with the sun everyone else at least on one half of the earth should have seen this as well because on the side of the earth where the sun was in all its glory 
to see the sun zoom in there there's no doubt that anybody else on that side of the hemisphere should have seen that too and yet there was nothing there was absolutely no other i guess witnesses anyone else from any other areas one interesting thing though to mention too is that there was another supposed miracle that happened there within that location remember i was mentioning earlier that there was all that rain uh previously and then that's when the clouds reportedly broke open and then that's when the miracle happened well while the sun was doing its thing it's it's miracle the water evaporated on the people's clothing bone dry like it actually became very very dry and then also the ground itself which had lots of water also experienced very dry conditions after this miracle i don't know if maybe this is something else entirely different or if people were just pointing out new things as afterward after this miracle happened who knows but that's still something else to point out too so all very fascinating very interesting information with regards to this miracle of the sun uh, an official miracle again recognized by the uh, the catholic church so if anyone has any more information tied to this event whatever happened back in 1917 that'd be very interesting to hear of course by now there's no doubt no more living witnesses tied to this event but if anyone had relatives that told others throughout generations maybe someone that knows someone that went there as a past relative please post those comments below that would be really really interesting to hear even those children have been i guess critiqued to try to see like why they would be stating this because again it does seem a little mysterious that they're the only ones that witness the virgin mary it leaves it up to just full faith full belief that they truly are the ones that saw her so if this was something like in terms of a gimmick or a joke that got out of hand who knows or if they truly saw a miracle who knows this is all tied to them and they're the only witnesses to have seen the virgin mary tying uh this upcoming event this miracle of the sun so anyways just wanted to provide all that information for you very good suggestion with regard to this and again I'm going to wrap up this uh, and then all and then showcase uh, more videos on other subjects soon so all right everybody thanks again as always take care